hello good morning guys this is mommy rubens tv i want to make a goosey soup this morning this is my chicken and my beef my bell pepper and my pepper here then my long pepper then i have my spinach is is a fresh one but i just cut it by myself when i bought them in the supermarket and freeze them so if i want to use them i bring it out this is my shaki and my cow foot then i have my my dry fish so i'm going to add hot water to it later to soften it so that i can use it this is my goosey then this is my my uh, smoked turkey so i'm going to cut them little by little so i can use it for the soup then this is my uh onions seasoning a uh, crayfish um this is salt then this is garlic ginger and black pepper so guys let's so guys, get started you can see my my meat is is boiling i didn't add any water to it so you have to allow it to steam first before you add water allow it to steam so that all the stock will go inside the meat before you add water to it so i will still allow it to cook for about 10 minutes before i will add water because i want when you are when you are eating it you will be getting the taste of the meat so that is it guys so this is uh, my cow foot and my shaki but this one you have to add water from the beginning for me i don't like to boil the, all of them together i separate my shaki from my cow foot I boil it separate then I boil the chicken and the beef separate so guys I'm going to add the hot water inside the, the dry fish so that I can soften it and it will be easy to eat when you are eating your a goosey soup guys you can see so i will leave it for about maybe two minutes then i will bring the water out hello guys this is how i slice the turkey I just cut it like this slide it Then slice it a little because my boy loves it so much. He doesn't eat meat in the soup, but he loves this one very much. I think that is why I'm slicing it. I'm going to start cooking the goosey now. First of all, I'll add my oil in the pot okay. that one is not enough then I will add a little bit more yeah, that one is okay then you allow the oil to get hot and you add your onions i did blend uh, onions to the bear pepper but not too much <coughs> now after adding the onions then you add the the bell pepper that we blended earlier on so that is it so we are going to allow it to fry we'll cover 
we are going to fry for 10 minutes. And now I want to add the stock meat because the pepper has been boiling for about 15 minutes now. So let me add my water to it. Then I'll leave it to boil. I add my, you know, this one is very strong, so I have to add it first. And I add my turkey inside. Let's see. Yeah, the taste is okay. Because the, the sauce was seasoning very good. So I don't need to add any other thing. And I'll add my chicken. I'll add it. Pray together before I add my juice. For me, the water inside is okay. Okay. So we will cover. Then later we add our juice. Meanwhile, lest I forget my crayfish. And before I forget, let me add the crayfish. Yeah. So. I'm adding my fish also so that everything can just cooperate together. I have to remove the bones inside because after this no more adding anything again. This is the final stage before we put the, the goosey inside. Now I want to add my goosey. Just add it anyhow. This is how I add mine. <coughs> you can add your own anyhow you want it. Mm. There are different ways you cook your own goose. This is my own way, and I'm doing it. for 20 minutes we come back hello guys you can check the soup now and five minutes later I open it and see the way it came out uh, You can see it nice and separated. Now you need to, for me, I don't like if this is so, so thick. Because if this is too thick, if you want to eat this problem, you come and add water to it again. But like this is okay. I like my juicy soup to have a little bit of water. 
I'm going to put like this. I'm going to add any water. Well, have to load the gas for the heat here. Oh, yeah. Then what we do? I'm going to add our spinach. It's already been cut already. I'm going to add it. Light to you, you know. I don't think so. I need to add more. Meanwhile, I'm going to add um, a, a little bit of bitter leaf, not too much, just a little. Yeah, because I like it too with bitter leaf, but not so much. Then the spinach, I'm still going to add more. I don't want to do that. I see there's water inside because I brought it out from the freezer. I always buy fresh spinach, then I cut it myself, then I freeze it. I freeze it, then if I want to use it, I'll bring it out. So, guys, this is the juicy. Oh, this is how it is. You can choose to add more, more spinach to it, but I don't have enough. It's the only one that I have that I've just used. So I think for me it's okay. If I have more, I would have add more to it, but this is what I have that I'm using. Eh? So you can see. Let me test if there's an, enough seasoning inside. Yeah, it's okay. I don't need Because I always uh, season my meat very well before using it. So, let's cover for some time and bring it down. So guys, you can see the egusi is ready. It's set. So yummy. I wish you day in, but come join me eat too. Ah, but the day I'm now I just make it so. So guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, share my video, and as you do that, may Almighty God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching. Bye for the next video. Bye bye.